Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and professor from Johnson County Community College. And in this short screencast, we're going to talk about Web 110, HTML and CSS, and the first course objective. To find course objectives, you go to our homepage, www.jccc.edu, and do a credit class search. And you can find any class. Let's go to fall of 2017 and type in the course prefix and number. And this is the class we're talking about. It's an introductory HTML and CSS class. It's three credits. The reason I'm going through the objectives is that some of you may already have some HTML and CSS experience. And if so, I want you to be able to move through the class at the rate that makes most sense for you. If we look at the outline and we look at the objectives, there are nine objectives. So by proving to me that you have mastered a particular course objective, I would allow you to move on to the next objective and continue through the course at the speed that makes the most sense to you. This screencast is going to talk about objective number one, and I'll do eight more to demonstrate what I would expect you to be able to show me to move through all nine objectives. But for this first one, we're going to explain how to create sites that are compliant with current W3 standards and web development. If you look further after the objectives, you'll see the content outline and competencies. So these numbers in our objectives match up with the outline. So you can get more detail on what that objective means by just looking at the outline. And here would be the details that I'm looking for for this first objective. And they're under the general title of web page building blocks. You need to be able to develop web page files, describe W3C standards, discuss Section 508 of the ADA and how that affects web page design, write source code, and then describe web page elements, attributes, and values. So let's go through those real quickly. Develop a web page file. I really don't care what editor you use. I like to use Notepad++ when I'm teaching Web 110 because I'm on a Windows machine. It color codes our code and provides just enough support but not too much. Developing web page files, I want you to be able to pull up an editor and insert the basic tags, the basic elements of a HTML5 validated web page, which would include declaring your doc type, your HTML5 doc type, your HTML tag, and also the Lang attribute. And given we're in the United States of America, we're in English, I want you to know you have the head and the body section. And within the head, the title tag is required for validation. The meta tag that declares the character set is required. And then you know, some sort of random content that would show me that you knew how to write a web page file. In regard to describing W3C standards, I want you to know that the W3.org is the keeper of the HTML and CSS standards. Those are open standards not owned by any particular company. You can either get there by w3c.org or it redirects to w3.org. For part C, discuss how Section 508 of the Americans with Disabilities Act affects web page design. I want you to be able to find the section on the web that discusses website accessibility and what that means and some reasonable things that we do as web developers to address and make our websites and our web apps as accessible to the widest range of audience as possible. And here's a very nice link at the very top. Examine the most common issues, observed, and learn how to fix them. And just real simple things that we're going to be doing in class, such as validating our code, making sure that our HTML and our CSS validates cleanly. And by the way, the validators are found at the W3 website, HTML validator. Those are the validators that we'll be using in this class, both the HTML and the CSS validators using semantic HTML. And so some of those basic issues, which is validation and semantic code and using alt attributes to give alternate text, all of our images, some of those basic things that we do to address accessibility, I would want you to be able to visit with me about. Writing the source code of the web page, if you could write a web page that was of this size and could explain your elements, that would suffice for part B. And part E, describe web page elements, attributes, and values. Elements, attributes, and values are, are just the basic HTML vocabulary that we must have to pass that first objective. 
Of course, an element is more commonly called a tag, but everything from the opening tag through the content through the closing tag is actually the element. Some elements, such as the image element, do have required attributes because they need a little bit more information in order to render correctly. And in this case, we have an SRC attribute with this value, because that's where my picture is located, and an alt attribute with this value, which describes my image. And when I run and render this page, that's what we've got so far. So that's it for objective one. If you can and accomplish those things, then you've passed objective one and you're ready for objective two. Thank you.